This is only half of the episode, to get the full episode and all of our other episodes, go to patreon.com slash drug cult gang. I mean, Taylor, I, I don't know much about Taylor Lorenz. Just I don't either. I just know about her from this shit. But yeah, but I, I got to know her through this kind of debacle. And I Same. think that she strikes me as kind of the, the cookie cutter kind of insecure horse girl. Like a girl, <laughs> <laughs> like a mean girl, you know, like ah, who would poke the bear and be the first to cry. You know, like she poked the bear. If you can't take the heat, don't stand in the kitchen. Does it? Okay, we're recording now, so don't say anything too bad. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I mean, fucking... the stakes are really the stakes are really high on my end. I might get stoned or something. I have fucking tape over my shit. Okay. I'm just gonna um I'm gonna stop the video uh. recording so the audio is. Oh okay. Like well, okay, we'll not do video then. Okay, I just took that off for nothing. Um, does that make it, does that make the audio better? It might be a myth, but I keep hearing it. I mean, I listen to podcasts chronically, and that seems like a theme. I don't know. Do you no, edit your podcast? Is there like a post-production process, or do you just like raw dog it? On we the raw internet? dog it. <laughs> we don't yeah we don't do much with it um it's lo-fi you know we're fucking we don't know what the fuck we're doing we just we just record the shit and then put it out there um nice. and people fuck with it but uh um yeah i didn't know that having the video made the the audio quality not as good i mean i don't know that either but just putting it out there Okay, fuck it. Well, um, <laughs> uh, all right, we're rolling. So, um, do you want to just start or what's up? Yeah, sure. I mean, not sure where to start. Um, well, I guess. Okay, well, first of all, how, how have you been? What's been going on? I've been okay. I mean, it's, um, I guess we need to give people like context of time and space and where I am. Uh, okay. I'm in Dubai, which is in the United Arab Emirates. Um, I'm very much floating in your kind of online circle, I guess, uh, which brings me to just how close the Dubai, New York spheres are for some reason, or at least mine. Yeah, you were telling me about that, some kind of, um connection with Dubai and New York or something like that? Yeah, I mean, it's not anything kind of deliberate. I think I think mine, sort of like an echo chamber on my end, just because I appreciate similar humor. And I think it's also because it's so hard to not engage with American like politics. It's just everywhere. So if you're someone who's on the internet, then that's going to be your landscape. Um, but I think as I mentioned before, because I'm such a chronic kind of podcast listener and someone who's so fused to the internet um, that these worlds just kind of collided. So I listened to a lot of kind of New York based podcasts, most of which are lame, but others that introduced me to a lot of different ways of thinking. Every so other thinking podcast like, be besides our podcast is lame. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the rule of thumb. No, I mean, there are really nice ones. I mean, I listen to Contain a lot. Um, Don't shout out any other podcasts down here. No oh, free really? clout. Really? Is that, no is free that clout. the rule? Unless they fuck with us, no free clout. I think they all fucks with No, me. they fuck with me. He fucks with me. I, fu I like him. I met him in real life before. He was cool as fuck. He's like, no, he's cool as fuck. He like, he, he fucks with me. But until I come on his podcast, no free clout. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, we'll shout out Contain. We'll shout out Contain because I got a shout out on his podcast before. So, okay. so no, so they're tit cool. Tit for tat. Um, you said what? Tit for tat. 
never there mind. So, okay. so uh, um, yeah, what I'm saying is that, so I, li I listen to a lot of, I mean, I know he's not in New York, but I know that Wet Brain is in New York and like Red Me Scares and him met in New York, York actually. I yeah. Probably... Oh, cool. Is it like a fashion party? Because I, I know Wet Brain is like connected to fashion through, what's his name, Walt? Yeah. Um, they're funny. <laughs> Someone on one of their on one of their um on one of their Instagram accounts was like, um, "Okay, cause you can't hear me now, though, right?" I can hear you perfectly. Okay, 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 okay. My well, concern is that other people can hear us too now. <laughs> like that glitch means uh, a foreign. Object oh yeah, like a, CIA penetrated into the clouds. No, I'm the just kidding. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think I wouldn't they care. Doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. I think the CIA cares about me. I'm going to be like the next Fred Hampton. They're going to like assassinate I me. I don't think they give a shit, but it's, yeah. I think they do. <laughs> would be flattered. They do give a shit because I'm fucking out here. <laughs> I'm out here fucking, uh, about to start a revolution. Redacted, redacted, redacted. <laughs> yeah, anyway, not an arm, you know, okay, yeah, we're not going to talk about our, our plans for revolution just yet um no okay so uh okay i'll just go back to what i was saying so yeah on wet brain one of their instagram accounts w posted something about me and they were like yo joe colt gang is so much better than the ion pack or some shit <laughs> they're like yo joe rogan or they're like yeah joe colt gang is like like joe rogan tier and i was like wow that is like one of the best <laughs> compliments i've ever gotten um Anyway, yeah, fuck. I it. mean, Joe Rogan is what is his what is his, his uh, YouTube channel? The Joe Rogan Experience, is yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't he vouch for um, libs of TikTok on his uh, podcast? He called it one of the greatest fucking accounts of all time. Yeah, they posted some dumb shit a couple of times about. <laughs> One of my got one of my friends, which we're not going to talk about on here, but <laughs> um, but uh, the fact that they expose libs, yeah, it's kind of funny sometimes, yeah. And they're like a huge account, holy shit! I was just watching a Tucker Carlson uh, video about him where, and you know Taylor Lorenz, who I said we might talk about on here, um, she mm -hmm. showed up at the person who runs libs of TikTok, uh, the, the the person who runs that account. It's a woman in Brooklyn, and this lady showed up at one of her relative's house. I know. I read that. Her. Okay, yeah, you know about that? Isn't that fucking nuts? And then this bitch is I on know, the but it's TV like... talking about, oh my god, I'm being harassed by people on the internet. But she's going and literally I... harassing these people in real life. What the fuck? I mean... Taylor, I, I don't know much about Taylor Lorenz. Just I don't either. I just know about her from enough, this shit. But... Yeah, but I, I got to know her through this kind of debacle, and I Same. think that she strikes me as kind of the the cookie-cutter kind of insecure horse girl, like a girl <laughs> who, <laughs> like a mean girl, you know, like ah, who poke the bear and be the first to cry, you know, like she poked the bear, if you can't take the heat, don't stand in the kitchen, yeah. and like, and she's also like, I don't know, a lot about her is weird. Um, she went, like, I did some digging just because, again, I'm pathologically on the internet. And she went to, like, a Swiss boarding school, and she's an overachiever. Um, a lot of these characteristics instantly make me super suspicious of someone. Um, yeah. She was, yeah. I think she was, like, in the Forbes uh, 40 under 40. I, that requires so much neurosis to achieve that. <laughs> And, like, be that influential, it's so weird to me. <laughs> okay, no shit. You came prepared, so you actually did some research on her. Um, wow, I, that's good. <laughs> that's really good because I I haven't done too much research on her. I just know her from, the, like, those videos of her crying. And, like, they talked about her on Red <laughs> Scare podcast. Um, and, um, and I was like, okay, this is interesting. And it's like, okay, like um, – but wow, and of course, so she, she said she went to some like really prestigious school in, in Switzerland. Yeah, so wow. I mean, I just feel like context really matters. I like Hell knowing yeah, people's background because it's the only way I can judge their 
character and like in this specific context and yeah she just seems like incredibly like hollow <laughs> and reminds me of a lot of of um just kind of mean girls super insecure um and she also like i think she like uh creates like turns out content that a lot of like venture capitalists and marketers uh use so i mean that alone is very <laughs> I don't know, I would be really, I would caution from like associating with someone like that because it feels super vampiric. Yeah. Um, like w when venture capitalists are using your like material to make, to strategize or um, plan their next move, it just feels super exploitative. So, I mean, I don't hate the chick. I feel like the last thing she needs is like hate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> She's right. crying on the internet and <laughs> on national TV. I mean, I have to... Ex, like extend some sympathy but um she i don't know I'm, I'm seeing so much of people i know in her yeah for sure and like i i also you know like i have sympathy too because we get i get harassed on the internet <laughs> like people fucking hate me you know i don't but it's like you know um you know, okay, so it's like not only do they hate what I say politically, but they like, you know, they're like, um, they think it's like wrong that it's like, oh, you can't talk to women. You can't use your platform to talk to women. <laughs> they, they hate that and they think that that's wrong for some reason. I don't understand why. I think that's perfectly fine. Um, it's like, how else am I going to meet <laughs> women? What the fuck? I don't go to college or <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have enough money yeah. to go to college. So it's like, fuck, all I got is the internet. Um, but anyway, I think that's retarded. I think it's perfectly fine. But I get a lot of hate for that. And I get like harassed. You know, people make up crazy shit about me and spread weirdo and like lies about me and shit. But anyway, you know, so I have sympathy for her there. Um, but my deal is, is I go, okay, well, because I criticize people who do that, I think they're weirdo, crazy, incel people, you know, whether they're men or themselves or whatever the fuck, or, or, or women, like they're, they're crazy weirdo people who probably, you know, don't get a lot of play in real life. So they, they take their anger out on me. But anyway, you know, so I criticize them. I think that's wrong. I don't think you should harass people on the internet, you know, or make up lies about people. I think it's fucking fucked up and weird. So yeah. I don't do that. Because I think it's wrong. I criticize people who do that. What's fucked up about Taylor Lorenz is that she criticizes when people do it to her, but then she'll go out and do it to, like, the woman who runs Libs of TikTok. She literally yeah. read lies about her, wrote weird shit about her, and literally tried to track her down in real life and was yeah. uh, messaging her family members and shit. Yeah, I mean, I really don't want to sound inflammatory here, but I think a measure of bullying is character building i mean not to the extent where it's like it causes anyone physical harm or whatever but i think that we've just been so coddled i mean not not my generation or yours specifically but i think you know libs and gen z are super coddled that they need a little bit of that i don't know character building that comes from a little bit of toughness i mean this might be kind of my arab background but no toughness has 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 harmed me it's been nothing but character building for me so i mean i would definitely not go out on the internet and cry, like go live on national tv and cry i would like face it with like strength and valor um it is a, a kind of tragic situation um it's really i mean people are saying mean things to you it's so sad but i i think a different reaction is warranted here and you know, it's not actually like, I don't feel like she's in actual physical harm. No, no, not at all. And I don't think people are really like, with me, I don't give a fuck when people say anything about me. Like I am, there's no way anyone could say anything, you know, because obviously when I look at these people's accounts and shit, I'm like, yo, you can't talk. Like, you know, you know, it's like they can't call me ugly or some shit, you know what I mean? So it's like, or like, what else is there to say? Or like, oh, you're stupid. It's like, okay, it's not gonna hurt my feelings, whatever. Like, yeah. I'm very confident. Um, mm -hmm. But it's when people like make up lies and say 
you know, they will literally make up the craziest shit and like, and like stalk the people who follow you and like your posts and comment on your posts and literally go and message them and tell them lies and shit. It's like crazy. These people are fucking mentally ill. But anyway, that's what I think is wrong. You know, yeah. like harassing. I mean, see, I'll, I'll never get that. It's a very uniquely American pathology. Like, I'm sorry to say it, but I'll, the whole kind of incel um, phenomenon is super American. Oh, I think yeah. Being, I think being, <laughs> being Arab and Muslim, you're like uh, just uh, innately an incel. So it doesn't cause <laughs> any friction <laughs> in that way. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd be going to just, I'm, I'm thinking of another um, kind of online phenomenon that started with an incel is, um, I don't know if you watched Bad Vegan, but Oh no, I, I think you're telling me about that. Was that you yeah. telling me about that? No, I haven't seen it. Tell me about Sarma it. Sarma is a lot like Taylor Lorenz in that they're both overachieving Ivy, uh, Ivy League educated horse girls. Sarma is like this, uh, vegan who opened a you know upscale vegan restaurant and uh, she ends up meeting her uh, boyfriend through uh, Twitter I think so he added her like he would like reply to her a lot of times until she like eventually went out with him which is a very familiar situation that's but how I meet all my lady friends <laughs> these know, social yeah, media <laughs> at this point yeah totally <laughs> and they like but, yeah all I mean New York it quickly took a deep turn and he started, I don't know, whispering in her ear to kind of not pay her staff. And then this is all under the pretense that he's, he has supernatural powers and that he could make her, uh, make her and her dog never die. Okay. Hold of. on. Hold on. Is this a documentary, like a real life documentary about real life shit? Yeah. It's okay. 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 My bad. Let me like, okay, go ahead and keep going. I'm gonna like, do like a quick Google, a quick Google search while you're talking to like- Yeah, I mean, I think I summed it up. On it's okay, that she, she was under his weird spell. It's cult-like, but he off, he promised that yeah, if she I did a certain, a, a certain tasks that he would give her life forever, basically, and make her um, immortal, her and her dog. I feel like this reveals two things. One, a very uniquely American pathology of like gluttony because he's this like uh, mastermind who knows how to play with money and also super fat. So like very <laughs> American in that sense. He's fat? And then two, yeah, he's fat. And she's okay. like this vegan. So it's like the most unlikely matching. This he is really ridiculous. did probably, he really did probably, by the way, put black magic on her because there's no way someone like her would look at someone like him. Like someone from like, a, a flyover state um, in weird Jersey, like t-shirts. Uh, and then he kind of seduces this woman, this it girl from New York. Um, not that I, I, there's anything yeah. wrong with flyover <laughs> states. I'm just saying, <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I mean, if you watch it, it's just a cautionary tale to never date your reply guy. It's just like they're never meant to take form. They should be in your DMs forever, quarantined there. Um, yeah, never date your reply guy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to say that because I might be. You know, I'm not. I oh, know. I'm no one's. I'm no one's reply guy. But okay. Um, yeah. Like if you Google it, it says fucking. After marrying a mysterious man who claimed he could make her dog immortal, <laughs> a vegan restaurant owner finds her life veering off the rails. Wow. So this seems like a very crazy fucking documentary. Um, it's ridiculous on all fronts. And you um, said this lady reminds you of Taylor R Lorenz. <laughs> so, much so much crossover there. That's and very funny. Yeah, like all of them are rich, uh, kind of New York elite. Is Taylor um, Lorenz from New York? I don't know where she's from. I think she did go to a good school, though. Oh, well, no, for sure she went to a fucking good school. Jesus Christ, she works for, like, Washington Post or some shit? Fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, to get anywhere near, like, national TV fucking uh, 
journalism like that. Oh yeah, no, you have to be fucking um, total like rich girl, rich parents. Fuck, dude, they don't let anyone like me or from my fucking class get anywhere near that shit. The fucking yeah. um, information journalism journalist apparatus. It's fucking a tight security system they have. Um, yeah. But fuck it, I'm making my own waves. I don't need to fucking work for MSNBC. Fuck, <laughs> you know. I can't have you to myself, then life's no fun. I'd rather be with you, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather be with you. I'd rather be with you, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather be with you. Oh, man. Thank you.